What was up, guys? Ninja Dick back with another round of this uh, League Challenge, uh, League Cup. Sorry, uh, sort of another round. Uh, so this round, I do play uh, our friend Nate here, uh, who we have played uh, a few times before. Usually see him at the Flipside Gaming. So we are currently in Poughkeepsie, New York, at Champion Gaming, and we were the only two three O's in the room. So we decided to ID and let fate take its course, basically. He is playing Guardi, so I did have a, like, 50-50, in my opinion, matchup against it, maybe slightly favored. Uh, I do feel confident that I could have beat him, uh, as long as I draw normally and he draws normally. Um, but he does, uh, we do just decide to play a game for fun, and I wanted to test the Qian Pao matchup more, because I am so unconfident in that matchup with my deck uh just because i i can never seem to get the turn to uh you know multi double gunner g max rapid flow turn uh and i i kind of see here during this first turn a little bit of the reason why um it's because i'm stupid <laughs> so we'll get into that in a second so uh this this match doesn't matter for the tournament but also it's important to note that they did actually screw up a couple of players' records. They did input one match wrong. So there was one person with a higher win total in the room than we thought, who essentially then got down paired and they fixed his record after it. But it ends up being that there are three 301s and two 31s, meaning that there is one person that's going to end up bubbling out. And I end up having to play the next round, which unfortunately my opponent did not want to be on camera. And none of the other matches wanted to be on camera either, unfortunately. So, um, the only other match that I would have put on camera was Tori versus Nate here, uh, which would have been a Guardi Mirror, but they ID'd because they were the two 301s. They were guaranteed. And here's a big misplay from me. So, I have an energy card in hand, and I did not attach it. I should have attached it to my Urshifu. I don't know why I forgot about it, but since this is no longer for the tournament, my brain just, boom, turns off. So if you guys ever watch me play PTCG Live, if I'm like streaming or something, uh, and uh, we're just uh, remarking how this energy looks like, or this car, this battle VIP pass looks like uh, they used a little bit too much ink. It looks really dark, uh, but it is definitely a legal card. I'm like taking it out of the sleeve. I'm like, this is so weird. Uh, that's how a lot of my prize pack uh, promos come. They all look super dark for some reason. Uh, but yeah. Uh, it ended up being really weird, uh, but uh, Chris, who I played in the last round, did end up getting down paired. He was one of the three ones. He got down paired and lost. So while, uh, so while me and my opponent were mid game, I was against an Arceus deck, but I hard bricked. Uh, and at that point, we were like halfway through the game. It was still either player's game. Either of us could have won it. Uh, but my opponent offered the ID because at that point, I we believed that. All of the 302s would then make it because Chris lost. So he offered the ID. I said, yeah, sure. Because, <laughs> again, I don't know how that match would have went. Uh, I definitely could have won it, guaranteed my spot in, and let uh, a player with a worse record into cut that I then would have hit. Uh, and then had an easy win to go into finals. Uh, but I would have rather had the Arceus deck in cut, uh, which I could have hit in finals. Uh, unfortunately did not quite work out that way and we'll get to that uh, in the next round of the of the tournament here but as you can see Nate is just doing uh Chan Pao back Excalibur things playing some battle VIP passes getting a whole bunch of Pokemon in play does go for the double fridge backs which is definitely correct you want to make sure you have two of those down he also plays the Bieberol line in here I believe he does have a 2-2 of the Bieberol uh, so he does have a really great way to uh, keep consistently drawing cards. I really like the Bieber roll personally in Shen Pao. I would not play it without it. So here I go. I evolve into the Urshifu VMAX and I'm looking at the two energy cards that are currently in my hand. Like, why did I not play down an energy card last turn? I'm an idiot. Uh, and I do think that I tell Nate about it. I'm like, oh, I had this energy last turn. Uh, so not going to be able to go for a rapid flow this turn, but of course uh, the Manaphy being in play means that it was unlikely anyway. I would have also had to get uh, double water energy, double Intellion VMAX plus the plus Yoga Loop plus 
Alakazam. So I would have been asking for a lot of cards to even get to the Rapid Flow anyway. But having that, I'm I'm now one attachment behind on my uh, Urshifu. If I want to be uh, attacking uh, with a different Pokemon, I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm going to have to attach to a different Pokemon now. So, he puts up the other Frigibax off of my Escape Rope. I put up my Urshifu. I'm just going to go for the Gale Thrust. Uh, again, should have two energies on this, but I just did not do it. I'm going also for the Rapid Strike Search here. Uh, search our deck for any Rapid Strike card. We are going to get the Corina's Focus. I do believe the last card in my hand is also an... In was it an Intelligent? It was something that I could play, I want... Or no... Or did I... I think I just drew five here. I think this... What was it? The stadiums in hand? I played the escape rope, so I want to save the stadium. So I'd rather draw one less card than have my opponent, like, poke a stop and discard my stadium. Yeah, it is the stadium. Yeah, that's right. So I do just Karina for five. I felt was uh, pretty worthwhile here. You should always draw your cards face down, kind of like that. Uh, makes it a little bit easier. I do show that I drew double battle VIP pass off of that. You'll love to see it. Uh, most of the time, honestly, with this deck, if I draw a double battle VIP pass, I also draw the Ultra Ball to discard them. So it's not always the worst thing in the world. But I do go for the Gale Thrust. I do 150, a little bit overkill to that Frigibax. And that is down. So now my opponent only has one more Frigibax. And I just have to hope and pray that this Qian Pao, if I do not see Rare Candy, Bax Caliber, um, and, uh, Shivery Chill, uh, 6 energy knockout, basically. Uh, because if he gets 6 energy here, uh, I pretty much lose, uh, because I have no other established Urshifu V Max, or even an Urshifu V at all. But again, had this been for the tournament, he would have been playing Guardi, and this match would have been completely different anyway, so. Um, I just want the practice against Chen Pao because I've just, I'm not always sure what to do against it, because I do not always get that turn two rapid flow to the back Excalibur, and that's what you always want to do. So, uh, Irida's for superior energy retrieval, as well as two water energies. Uh, with the Shivery Chill and the Baxcalibur off the Irida as well. Uh, so searching just four cards straight from deck. You'll love to see it. Uh, rare Candy into the Baxcalibur. You knew he had it when he didn't search for it off the Irida. Attaches two to the active, one to the bench. Uh, is considering not doing that. Uh, retreats into the Greninja. So this is cool. So he doesn't have the energy to take the knockout on the Urshifu right now. So what he is instead doing is he's retreating, using the energy retrieval to grab the, or superior energy retrieval, to grab the water energies back so that he can use Greninja to attack this turn, plus also putting a one prizer active. So he can actually damage two Pokemon. Uh, I think the correct play here is definitely to go for the uh, Urshifu VMAX as well as one of the two Intellions. That softens both of them up so that you need a lot less energy to knock them out with Chen Pao's in future turns. Uh, and you can still stay ahead in the prize lead because you'll be able to take three prize knockouts back to back. He also has those uh, pesky cross switchers, I do believe, are in his deck. Uh, and those are really scary for me to have to deal with because he could just bring up uh, an Urshifu that's on the bench at any point and knock it out. Yeah, so I'm just double confirming. I'm like, yep, so it's these two Pokemon. Putting those nice damage markers down. That I got at NAIC from the... Uh, both the vendors were selling those at NAIC. It was pretty sweet. I bought two packs of them. And I also got one of those, like, Japanese, like, dice boxes as well. <coughs> so I have those in that. It's pretty sweet. They fit perfect. The two packs fit perfectly in the deck... In the dice box. <coughs> so. Uh, I do get the Melanie here. Which would not have been necessary <laughs> if I already had that water energy attached. I do draw into another water energy. And I'm trying to figure out exactly how I can piece this together. Because I need... I basically need to rapid flow 
I, I basically I basically need to knock out mana feet while also rapid flowing the Bax Caliber. And maybe the Greninja would be pretty good too. Or the Beebrel. <coughs> yeah, I think maybe the Beebrel would be better. And it would also be good to fit the Yoga Loop in um, to get rid of the mana fee because then on the turn after the Yoga Loop, I could Iono as well. So that's generally the way that you beat Chen Pao is they take a they take a knockout on one of your three prizers pretty early. Then you immediately Yoga Loop, uh, Yoga Loop Iono Rapid Flow. Uh, and then they don't have anything to do. And then on the next turn, you Melanie Rapid Flow again. Uh, so uh, after this game, I did uh, feel like I figured out the matchup a little bit more after reviewing and everything. And I did manage to beat it at the challenge that happened the day after this. So uh, in the last round too, so where it mattered the most. Uh, and I was very happy to see that. Unfortunately, didn't grab any footage from either of the league challenges as I was at. It was a bunch of, like, locals to those stores that are, like, uh, not as experienced as some of the people that are in more of the League Cup areas. Uh, so, I decided not to record, but in hindsight, I definitely should have because there were still some great games at both of those events. Uh, the only thing is, I probably would have put the camera on myself for the entire tournaments for both of those. Uh, and you'd probably get really sick and tired of watching, uh, Rapid Strike, which is why I'm considering changing my deck going forward. Basically just for you guys. So, I do go for the attack with the, uh, Intellion VMAX that does not have any damage counters on it. And, uh, unfortunately, uh, I could just, uh, lose a 3 prizer right here. I'm really hoping that uh, he does not get the six, en six energies for the knockout, but again, he has a huge hand. This is why I play three Iono in the deck now. If you guys haven't seen my deck profile for this deck, I did do a video where I played it on PTCG Live against a Giratina Lost Box. It was a really interesting match, so I do recommend checking it out. But it is the exact 60 that I play played for this entire weekend where I earned uh, quite a lot of championship points, if I do say so myself. I mean, two League Challenge wins is 30 points right there, and uh, we'll just have to see how many I earn at this event. Uh, you won't be spoiled until the next round. End of the next round, I'll let you know how well I did. Because uh, I do make it into top four. Uh, because the round, so yeah, the, as I said, the round after this, I do ID and make it into top four. But I'm not going to tell you if I won the tournament or not yet. Unless you're following me on Twitter, then you already know. Or Instagram. Those links are in the description below, along with the links to the Discord and all that other good stuff. So, of course, got the six energy knockout here from the Qian Pao. Uh, is going to be able to uh, wipe that Intellion off the face of the earth uh, using his saber tooth sword tusks to do it. And I just, I promote my Urshifu. <laughs> Uh, not usually something you want to promote, but I have to go for the rapid flow this turn and I look at my hand and I'm like, yeah, this is unplayable and I just scoop at that point. Um, I definitely would have needed to uh, yoga loop that turn and the fact that I only had one Intellion VMAX in play meant that there was no way I could stack enough damage counters onto the mana fee in order to pull that out. So had it gone a little bit differently, had I attached that energy that first turn, I'm actually not sure. I don't think so. I think I just drew a little bit suboptimally, but it was really nice getting rid of that fridge Frigibax early. Just really unfortunate that uh, uh, I could not really draw into multiple Intellion VMAXs and water energies at the same time uh, to even put myself in a position to Yoga Loop. But that's just how it happens sometimes, and that's why I play seven water energy instead of six. So as always, do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. All that good stuff up above. Uh, and we will be back with an actual real round, the top four, uh, where I play against my friend Tori playing Gardevoir, and it is a really cool match to watch, so I hope to see you guys there.